It's car week on Drift Games. We've revealed five cars in seven days, and it's finally time for the last two. And they're special, and this one is a rocket ship. Alright guys, boxes have landed from Japan, from Liberty Walk, and we promised you that the last two car reveals of Car Week and our rebuild of the channel were going to be the big ones, and this is a huge one because it's another collaboration between Drift Games and Liberty Walk. And before we show you what car we're building, I gotta talk about the history between Liberty Walk and Drift Games, which isn't a long history. We met the guys in SEMA last year in Vegas, and we just love the brand. We love everything about Liberty Walk, the way they build cars, the way they kind of stick a finger up to the purists, they take chances, they build cars that are so controversial. We love it because it's so easy to build something simple and that already exists or is looking back to the 2000s or whatever, but they're building something brand new every week and they have an amazing HQ, amazing collection of cars. They're basically living the dream and they started from very simple, small beginnings. And that's kind of what we admire about them. So we got in touch with them to try and collaborate on a crazy project, which was a 2JZ powered drift Lamborghini Gallardo. Now that sounds like we would never pull it off, but we actually did pull it off. We actually released the car at Dub Shed. It was all done on its Liberty Walk kit and we absolutely loved how the car looked start to finish. And it dined out at over 800 horsepower. And just as we are about to go test it to drift, two days after revealing the car, it burned literally to the ground. And I know that people say that figuratively. I mean, it literally burned to the ground. There was only some exhaust pipes and the 2J left, the car completely disappeared. So we were really worried. Obviously, we'd done this deal with Liberty Walk. We'd collaborated with Merch and now all of a sudden we didn't have a car. We were expecting Liberty Walk to kind of be a bit pissed off because they'd given us such an investment. But we got a phone call from them and it couldn't have been further from the truth. All the way around the table was all the crew from Liberty Walks in. They were 100% behind us. Their car guys, if it happened to them, they would feel how we felt of losing everything. So they reached out and said, hey, we're gonna send you our Liberty Walk Marcielago drift car from Japan. Now, as time went on, that became a bit more of a mission than we thought. They wanted to ship the car, but because the shipping time is being so delayed now with all the conflict in the Middle East, we ended up in a situation where the car wouldn't arrive until the end of the season. And if we air freighted, it was crazy cost and it wouldn't be there in time for some events as well. And we had another major practical problem, which was the Murcielago as a stock car would barely fit in our truck. So with the fenders on it, it'd be way, way, way too wide. And then we would be trying to run a twin turbo V12 Lamborghini across our demos in Europe. So it all started stacking up to being overly complicated. And with so much else going on in the brand right now, we've just, we didn't have the time. So then they said, hey, well, what if we shipped you a body kit and you built a car that you could bring to Europe and on the tour? That would be your car. You'd be able to maintain it. It would be a little bit simpler. And we have got a very, very cool body kit in mind. So they sent me to go find a very good example of one of these cars because the kit is outrageous. And this is what we picked up. So after every car we've revealed on Car Week, there was one that you guys kept requesting that you wanted to see us do the wildest project on, and we finally have one, an FD RX-7. And this is an actual 1995 Bathurst edition with a bunch of Japanese parts on it. It's got a single turbo, about 500 horsepower. It's just been fully rebuilt over in the UK. We picked this car up as well from JDM Garage in the UK. We put a full link ECU system in this car to keep everything working perfectly because we know it's gonna be the base for an absolutely wild, wide body Liberty Walk car. And it's probably been, man, it must be 10, 12 years since I've even driven an RX-7. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. We wanted a car that was mechanically perfect, that didn't need anything more done because we're doing so much work to the outside. And just here around Mandela Park, you can really feel how tight the car is. Brakes work good, power works good. It is an absolute beauty. Ooh. 
it turns in so nicely. These cars are like a go-kart. I'm not sure, they're not the most reliable in the world, but man, are they one of the best handling cars that Japan ever made. This thing is good. Talk about smiles for miles. FD Oryx 7s, when they're working, they're as good as it gets. So as you guys know, every car we've bought is rear wheel drive and every video we've done on car week so far has had some donuts, some burnouts and some tire smoke. So I don't want to let you down. So we're going to send it. Apologies to Mandela Park there. Just had a bit of a spin. This thing is a monster. I didn't believe when you said it was 500 horsepower that it actually was 500 horsepower, but like, that tore it up. Lights up a set of tires, and <laughs> You're smoking on the inside. <laughs> it's very smoky in here. It revs up pretty good. I mean, I've done donuts and drift cars out here that haven't made as much tire smoke as that. So now it's time to get it back to the shed, check out the Liberty Walk kit. Now you guys will notice that it's not a shame that we're cutting up this car because we don't have to cut it up. Because Ori MMA already have tubbed the fenders in this car front and rear, so we're getting a little bit more license uh, to put something a little wilder on it. And I am so excited to open up this kit and basically see the million parts that are inside it. Okay, so got my SP tools knife, which only means one thing. I'm either gonna stab Craig or I'm gonna open the boxes. We were actually gonna wait, because we're not gonna build this car. Obviously, we don't have time right now next week because we have Drift Masters in Mandela Park. We have tons of other stuff to get ready. But because we're here and we're kind of curious, and also we, we did say there's instructions in there that we need to read so we know what to get before we build it. Now, the big thing I need to remind everyone here is we have, what, two weeks to build this car start to finish. That's wheels, suspension, kit, everything else we need for it. And to look at Craig's face. Two weeks. And then it's got to get on a truck and go to Finland and the first place that anyone will see it in the flesh will be Finland at Driftmasters. Now, this is a particularly complicated body kit because there's replacing almost every panel of the car. So we're going to open it up and see what we have. It's cloudy in the uh, convertible shed at the moment, so uh, we might close the roof up. I know we can't. So basically we're going to hope it's not going to rain and we're going to open it up, see how many bits there are and get an idea of it. It feels yes. like rain straight away. But iPhone weather says it's not going to rain. The iPhone weather, you might as well look out the window. That's as much information as iPhone weather has given you. This is like the best unboxing video ever. Oh. Everything from Liberty Walk, we just go like, everyone wants to be there for the unboxing. Usually we're like, ah yeah, throw it out of the box. But this, everything they do, you get a little excited. We got a box. What's in the, the box? box? A box in the box. What's in the box? I think it's gonna be hardware. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gonna be bolts. Hey, but most body kits don't come with bolts, so at least with Liberty Walk you actually get everything that you need to make it. It's like you know Christmas morning when you don't get the batteries for your remote control <laughs> car. Liberty Walk don't want you on Christmas morning not knowing what's going on, so they actually send you absolutely everything. As described, there is a, bolts. a lot of bolts. What on earth do we? Some sort of <laughs> heavy duty splitter rods. I don't rods. think it's gonna be as easy <laughs> as we think. This looks like the instructions. We'll throw this in the bin. No. Now you tell me it's easy, it's fine. No, I told you it was easy, but in reality it's not easy. <laughs> you need the instructions. Well, is that the next project, is it? <laughs> this is what it's going to look like. That is the car. It's definitely raining a bit heavier now. I miss having an inside shed. Soon. <laughs> Apparently putting the roof on very, very soon, but we're pretending we're in a shed basically now. We could just be in the middle of the yard. This makes absolutely no difference that we're in here. I think the kit has to be bonded on, Josh. That, that, that's like an easy job to a hard job. Craig's mood has automatically just gone down. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, it fits perfect. Nailed it. That's the way to fit it without damaging the paint. I like that. It's clever. It's going to be a wide unit, this thing now. 
Speed this process up, guys. Is that the splitter? I'd imagine that's the diffuser. I think that's the diffuser. Starting to think this could be a bit more difficult than the Lamborghini. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Front wheels will turn. That's a fact. So we're, we're starting ahead of the Lamborghini. Why would you say that we don't know anything yet? I reckon we can admit now that them wheels were never going to turn. They were going to turn. <laughs> the new wheels were going to turn. And I'll never be proven wrong. <laughs> never. You'll never know if they could turn or not. These are a lot of brackets here, so that's, that's a good sign. <laughs> Jesus. That is some size of a front bumper. It's well packed. I was going to say well that... No fear. There's no, there's no fear of it being broken. Oh, there's more. Now our question is, does this have glass in it? Ooh. That's the boot lid with the glass. And I'm no genius, but I reckon the last box is the bonnet. Some detective. No shortage of uh, bubble wrap anyways. No. I see. No, no, no bubble wrap for a while. No bit in your pan. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice bonnet. <laughs> Just fall into it. There's a lot of bits of this kid. Craig Coleman's face tells the whole story. He's worried. <laughs> Josh, Josh said, this is the words of Josh. Have a fit in a day. And I laughed at him when he said that. I don't know. I give you a five a bet right now, on camera. A five a bet a day. I don't know if Craig's got a fiver. He's after yeah. pulling through a lot of SR yeah. in the last couple of weeks. Wayne oh, Curran would do it. Oh. Wayne Curran would do it. <laughs> Wayne would get it on a day, but you wouldn't want to know how we got it on a day. <laughs> There's a huge amount of pieces from top to bottom. And obviously we're taking off everything from the car. So a lot of people are gonna say, obviously this car looks pretty perfect as it is. Very Gran Turismo spec and it looks amazing. So everyone's gonna be like, no, don't put the kit on it. Don't do this, don't do that. But to be honest, we wanna do something crazy and the car looks beautiful, but it doesn't look crazy. So this is what the Liberty Walk kit's gonna do. We have got custom wheels being made right now by Strom Wheels for the Liberty Walk kit. We have got some BC Racing coilovers, which we are gonna make custom made as well for the car. And we have a lot of little pieces that we need to get together. The worrying thing is we've got three weeks to completely finish the car, which is a little bit worrying. Now we are going to save some time because we're going to keep the car white. So we're going to do white and we're probably going to do a livery and a few other bits and pieces. So the original color of the car will still stay there, which will save some time on the paint. Obviously this car is going to be a lot wider than it is originally. You can kind of see how much wider, probably inches upon inches and very, very aggressive. If you guys aren't aware, this car and kit are based on the Porsche 934 race car so that's what it's meant to look like is a Porsche 934 not an RX-7 however I'm kind of tempted to leave these headlights in because you do get blanks with the kit and I think it might make the front of the car a little bit too white so maybe we'll leave these lights in use these as fog lights and make them yellow on the bottom we're gonna do like an old-school 80s style livery on the car and we have got some BC racing coilovers which we're gonna adapt to put some airbags on to get this thing sitting on the ground so mechanically the car is done, which is brilliant because JDM Garage prepped the whole car. We got a Link ECU in there. It's running about 500 horsepower reliably and it's fully rebuilt engine on a single turbo. So that's done. Now we just need to do it aesthetically. However, we will have two and a half, three weeks to get the whole car finished, put on the truck and then unveil it in Finland. And in Finland, the owner of Liberty Walk is coming to the event. So Kato from Liberty Walk and Toshi are gonna come to Finland to appear at the event, meet and greet with the fans, and unveil our RX-7. How cool is that? So many of you guys will be saying, shouldn't change it, it's perfect as it is. That story is just gonna be insane, that we bring the car all the way to Finland, and the owner of Liberty Walk is gonna come and unveil the car. We might even do some sneaky donuts at the event in it as well. So I'm very excited about it. Hope you guys are excited about it too. It's a little worrying with the time scale, and we've never done a body kit of this magnitude before, but we know the Liberty Walk stuff fits really well, so I'm sure it'll help us out along the way. 
and this thing is going to be looking wild. So after Drift Masters, we're digging in and getting the Drift Games Liberty Walk collaborative Oryx 7 ready. And we'll also be doing some collaboration merch with Liberty Walk down the line around this car, which is super cool for us because as a small brand from Ireland, to be working with one of the biggest car brands in Japan is just insane. And I'm super excited. So on the next episode though, there's a big reveal, huge reveal. So this is big, but the last one of all the seven cars is the biggest of them all. And that is my new pro drift car. And it's not normal. It's definitely like nothing else we've ever had on the channel. And it's probably one of the nicest drift cars in the world. And I'm gonna stand by all that in the next episode. So we'll see you there for the last big reveal of Drift Games Car Week as we head to Drift Masters and unveil my brand new pro car. Yeah.